it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage. I am fighting the sun. I, I don't know why, but I parked in a terrible location <laughs> for it to film. Um, anyways, I'm here at Goodwill today and I am gonna go inside here and see what I can find. I have a back seat full of picture frames and pictures from the 90s from the shop that I am trying to get rid of. So I'm gonna pop those in after I go in. They just opened one minute ago. I'm really anxious to get in there. Let's go inside. All right, let's see. You know, last time we were here, I found a ton of stuff, like lions, mostly like a lion collection. World. That was over in the figurine section that we found all that stuff, which is kind of in the back there. It looks like there was a breakage. I'll give them a little bit before we go over there. Oh, look at the sailboat. Oh, here's a Mexico. Ooh, a blue and a white Tanala. Fish. This one's six dollars. Ooh. What color is that? 50% off yellow. I'm trying to get out of the way. Let me think about this fish. Yeah. I could sell this for about 14. Oh look, we can go to, let's go to the figurines. It looks like it's pretty clear now. Little figurines. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're pretty saturated, these shelves. So it's, you gotta look. Thank goodness, it's very busy right now. Everybody's coming in and out. Here's an Amaji vase for three. I'll do that. Namaji, it's written on the bottom, by the way. Actually, is it? I don't know. It's covered up, so I can't really tell. But it should be. It should be. Is this Gobel or is it not? It looks like it. I'll think about it. I feel like that cat was here before. Maybe I've just seen it recently. Dangle. It's pretty. It's a little creamer for three. Stangle is a collectible name out of New, out of New Jersey. Something down at the office store, so. Well, I'm from Michigan, and I'm used to oh. seeing the pheasant, so I gotta get a pheasant thing. Come down here, we're <laughs> the pheasant. Oh, here's more of that stangle. I've got it, and the cups and saucers. I wonder if they have the saucers around here. They're a dollar each. It's really pretty. I'm tempted. There's four of them. Oh my gosh, it was just destined. They're flamingos, by the way. Oh my gosh. What does it say? Souvenir from Florida. Well, of course it is. And that is Lefton. Occupy Japan? Oh my gosh. That's different. So in Occupy Japan, Florida. Now that dates it to 1945 to 1952 give or take a year here or there. Oh, look at the blue 
in peach luster. If only they had the cup. I wonder if the cup's around here. Because that is really pretty. Usually, well, if they had the cup, they would have done one of those types of things. They would have taped it together. Do you think they do? Do you think it's around here? I don't know. I don't see it. It would be the same colors. Hmm. I don't see it, so I don't think it is here. So I will not. There's some Corel. There's a whole stack of it. At a dollar each. I will not. It's not a bad price. I'm just not feeling it. I should feel it, but I'm not. Maybe I'll feel it in a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel like it in a little bit. This is a mug. Made in China. Here's some restaurant wear. Homer Laughlin. The blue stripe. What's with this pink tag that I keep seeing everywhere? What's that pink tag? Okay, I had a chance to look this over. I looked up the name. And this is Eric. I guess you'd say Eric. Erich. With a C-H. Stouffer. And that is in the style of um, Hummel, but it's definitely not. So this I'll be putting back for $6. And it is chipped on the back too somewhere. I noticed it it's on the tail. And the other thing that I noticed was chipped is this creamer. So pretty, but it's chipped. Also, the Corel plates I was going to get, but they're chipped. One of them is chipped. And I'm just like not going to... Um, I'm just not going to do it because there's four of them and one of them is chipped and that's not fun. So looks like two things out of my, my grouping here are going back. We'll check out the fabric and then we'll go from there and see what, we else, see what else we can do. This is pretty. The green is much greener in person. It's a three leaf clover. So I'm going to get this. I know we're a little early, but you don't see St. Patrick's Day and it's handmade. So I like it for like a, like a St. Patrick's display. I don't even know how much it is because I don't understand their prices. It's probably like 50 cents, like a washcloth or something. Must be. Okay. Let's see. I'm really not getting any Christmas stuff. We're just looking at other things here. What in the world? It's like a tiny crocheted thing. Tiny little square. Some vintage things would be nice. That's a pillowcase, I guess. Maybe that was a pillowcase. No. I don't know. Uh, some lace doilies. Little doilies. Easter. No. Oh, is that Easter? Yeah. Mm. Okay. No, 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 no. None of that. None of that nonsense. These are like curtains, I think. Well, I found this tablecloth. It's really pretty. The yellow is on it. It's, I guess it would be $5. It's a pretty decent price. I could expect to sell this for $16, $20, maybe more. Depends on how big it is and if there's no stains or tears or anything. It's really pretty, really summery. That almost looks like, that almost looks like a rug, but it's like a blanket. Okay. I think we are about ready to head out of here. I don't really see a lot, um, any other cool vintage things in this fabric. I don't see, I don't see any. There were, now there were some of these little doily things, but I couldn't decide on them and I don't know how much they would, wait a minute, they're 50% of whatever they are. Let me see. Get off these darn hangers. Come on now, well. That's what they look like. They're like, is this, what is this? It's like sewn, I guess, the color. It's a darn thing. Here. So there's like a, a few of them. There's some more over here. Hmm. 
Is that printed or what? I just, I don't know what to think. Maybe I should. I just don't know how much they are. I think they're like 50 cents, so that would make them 25 cents, right? I should probably just get them. They're different. They're different. There was those two. And I think just the other one. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute, get off it. Darn hanger. This, this was cool too, by the way. You might be wondering about it. But the colors, I don't know. I don't know, don't know if I like the yellow thrown in there. So, um, yep. Okay, I guess we're gonna go check out now with our little, with our little cart. <laughs> with our little cart full. I didn't look over this very closely to make sure it was in good shape. There's crazing, but no chips. Ugh, I just don't like that it's six dollars. Oh my gosh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, I guess, yeah, we looked pretty much everywhere we can. Let's go check out. All right, I just got out of Goodwill and I think I did pretty good. I mean, I didn't get a lot of stuff. But I did get something for myself. I love it. You know, I collect the flamingo stuff. And this is Occupied Japan. And, you know, I told you what that was. 1945 to 1952-ish. Somewhere in there. I say ish because there's like a... De it's like, what do you count? Like, when we, on the book, said that we occupied. Or when the things actually came to the United States from the boat. Uh, all the things. So, anyway. Um, the Tanala... The Tanala Blue and White Fish does have crazy, like I said, but it's really cool, and I paid six dollars. The tablecloth was um, five, and he did open it up, I guess, to like see what it was for sure. But and there were like no stains, nothing, so that was good. And then I got the little things, these little things for twenty-five cents each, so that's good. The little little doily things. Uh, oh, and then the, my Namaji vase, which I'm pretty sure it's what it is. Uh. I don't know. It's it definitely in the style of it. It has the swirled, the swirled look of Namaji for for that. Um, but for now, I'm gonna. Oh, I gotta take these things. To, oh, are they accepting donations? How does that work? Maybe they. I gotta get rid of this stuff. Maybe they'll let me take it in the back. Is there a back? Yes, they have a back. But with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.